Laryngoscopy is a procedure in which the doctor uses some instrument to see the vocal cord and nearby structure. This is usually done under topical anesthesia and these are the structures which may be identified during laryngoscopy. First, start with the tongue itself. See the coating of tongue, uvula, the hanging structure and both sides you can see the tonsils. You Please note the prominent lymphoid follicles over the base of tongue which is known as the lingual tonsil. You can see the epiglottis. Now the vocal cords are closed. So these are the vocal cords which are pearly white in color. There is slight vocal gap you can appreciate while the vocal cord try to close fully. And above vocal cord are false vocal cord which sometime closes forcibly in a falsetto voice or in person who distort their voice. And these are periform sinuses through which food passes. Through the vocal cord air passes from trachea to lung. From the periform sinuses, food passes to meet in, in to go to the esophagus in a single tube. Though it enters, food enters from the both the sides. And these two bumps are retinoid cartilage, which forms the part of the larynx or voice box. When acid comes through esophagus to the above, sometimes it irritates the retinoid area, and this becomes congested and red. Uh, which is known as posterior laryngitis and this is a sign of GERD which is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Now you will see once the vocal cord open fully the periform sinuses or the food inlet pipe closes and you can see uh, through the vocal cord trachea which is a windpipe and which is always open which is lined by some C-shaped cartilage as you can appreciate. And these are cuneiform cartilages, these are area lotic fold and uh, these are periform sinuses which are kind of close now and these are true vocal cord again these are false vocal cord again and these are trachea trachea are never closed it's because it is lined by c-shaped cartilage which don't let it close and in contrast esophagus or food pipe is always closed unless food enter now again in a closing position of vocal cord you can see true cord closes then false vocal cord closes and this is a cycle which can be seen uh, better by stroboscope another fine instrument you can study about stroboscope in some other video again you just notice the fine movement of vocal cord on saying e or we say adducting the vocal cord now this is the vellicular space behind the epiglottis between the tongue and the epiglottis these are prominent lymphoid follicles here uh, vellicula is a hidden structure and it's essential to not to miss any growth here or any foreign body lodge here and these are tonsil which have crypts like structure and sometimes white debris over it which are known as tonsil uh, stones and uh, and uh, you can see posterior pharyngeal valve with there were some granulations over there so i hope you must have understood by now laryngoscopy is a very important investigation especially to rule out suspicious lesions to take biopsy to study vocal cord movement and to understand the swallowing disorder <laughs>